All right, so we are back on the 328 skid steer. Uh, customer approved going further into it. Pulled the valve cover and all that stuff off today. And I had one guy uh, message me and asked me if I could show basic setup for the snap-on pressure transducer. I was thinking about getting one. So here we are. We've got our glow plug adapter in here our angle fitting, and then adapt it right into the 500 PSI transducer. Uh, I already checked cylinder number one. We're doing cylinder number two now. If you remember from the last video, these two were the ones that weren't contributing. And we did a relative compression test as well as a heat test on each of the runners going through to confirm that. But I wanted to do a additional tests to make sure that it is breathing properly so we're gonna go there so we've got pressure transducer hooked in cable that goes in this annoying little box here and we've got an NT1 this is just a little 9 volt battery in here ground and channel 1 ground And uh, there is a different adapter that goes in through here. I do not have that one. And some people have complained that um, powering it off of here tends to screw with this a bit. This I've had decent luck with. It is not a WPS. It is not the same, but generally for what I get into, it's not bad. So we've got everything plugged in, powered up. And in this case, we're going to go to our lab scope menu, hit uh, come on now 500 psi and right down here it should ask you to calibrate if you haven't already we'll hit yes and probe 500 filter in this case yes not work uh, there we go scale 500 psi uh, 50 milliseconds is probably fine but we'll Bump it down a little because you got to remember whatever your time base is when you're recording here, that's the most zoomed in you'll be able to get on one of these. So I tend to do a pretty short time, pretty short time base just to be able to see a lot of detail. So we got our remote start box hooked up here, plugged in through the glow plug, no trigger set. enough for what we got and I'm not going to go all in depth into in cylinder pressure transducer reading not my strong suit yet but what we have here is basically all I really wanted to look at was peak compression up here we've got an exhaust pocket so I mean it's good and I confirm the same on cylinder one so we've Eliminated any major breathing issue that would cause these two cylinders to be completely dead. So, the next question is, and I don't know if I can get you guys a good shot on these. This setup is right down here. Oop, sorry, blinded you. Come on, behave. Uh, bear with me here. A unit pump. So this is a, literally a tiny little injection pump, sits right on the cam, it's got a little spring, plunger, goes up and down on the cam, feeds through this line, down into, now it's kind of hard to see, but follow the line down between there and it goes to its own little injection nozzle. So that's what we'll be testing next, to see if it's the pump itself or the injection nozzle.